Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Project Management and Control. This video I am making to demonstrate what are the work breakdown structure and how we can create a viable work breakdown structure both for project management and in Primera P6. So first we see what is the work breakdown structure. So work breakdown structure is defined as a fundamental project management tool which can uh, which connect different aspects of the project management that is initiation, planning, uh, for planning for the resources, scope and resource and cost management, risk identification, monitoring and governing the project and reporting. In short, we can say that WBS integrate all the project management aspects and tools together. In, uh, when we are defining the break, work breakdown structure, so it is defined as that it is breaking down the project into smaller manageable deliver, uh, deliverables. This deliverable can be called as product or end products, uh, end results. This product or end result should be tangible item which we can experience. Like it can be a project or it can be a building, it can be any test result, it can be any event we are going to organize. Something like you can uh, tangible or you can experience. From that uh, uh, deliverable or uh, uh, deliver or uh, product, we identify uh, further to a uh, task and activities which can be car carried out for further planning and monitoring of the projects. So, in short, if you can define the, uh, the work breakdown structure into uh, in pictorial way, you can see that we have the first is level zero or level one, which is the total entire project. Sometimes it is called level zero or level one. It depends on the project specification and design. After this, the next level will be level one or level two, which is organizing principal or mega deliverables. For example, this is the uh, on which we are further or de decompose our project. After level one, the other levels, for example, level two and above, are uh, depends on the. Pro is, uh, the uh, size of the project. If it is a big project, we have maybe need more levels or a small. Or it depends on our scope. So this inter this are called as intermediate deliverables, and uh, finally we reach to end product or which is our goal and object for which the project is executed. Now we can see that WBS. How what how how, how can we define WBS? The so WBS is uh, defined as the structure hierarchical decomposition which can which can proceed or define in a logical sequence for all the project deliverables and that is their end product or survey that the project is producing. There are two approaches to define WBS. The WBS, in, if you are defining the WBS in Primera P6, we are using the top to down approach and when we are using MS project, it is from down to top approach. We will we'll discuss this in a, in a while. For creating a viable WBS or uh, 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 WBS, we need to ensure that the, uh, the WBS, all components or levels of the WBS are clear. There are no ambiguity and we have to make sure that no overlap or duplicate between different deliverables. We have to make sure that the uh, all, uh, any deliverable should completely specify all sub deliverable below it. Now, if you could do go for the WBS in Primera P6, Primera P6 uh, consider top-down approach. This is because the first we create WBS and we get we get uh, approval from all the stakeholder or project expertise. Once the WBS are defined and created, we are later define activities required to produce the WBS or deliverable items, which is more preferable as we first consider the projects and product. That is, we start with the end in our mind. W um, now, when we are going to document the WBS, the WBS can be documented in several ways. Number one is the hierarchical list. And hierarchical list is same as we are making in our uh, pro, uh, our listing. Like for example, we can make as well item number one is the project name, which is our level zero or one. Then we have uh, next deliverable or major mega deliverable, which may be defined as the all the scope or major major uh, major uh, de mega deliverable. Like for example, we are going to de develop the design stage, uh, and then we have to develop this design. Can we further develop uh, decompose into master design stage for the concept design stage and schematic design stage, detail design stage, and uh, IFC drawings, etc. 
the next the mega deliverable may be procurement. The procurement may be for the procurement of the master planning consultant, procurement for the design consultant, procurement for the supervision consultant, design engineer, pro, uh, procurement for the contractor, different contractor for the project. So our main uh, total project is the name, then our mega deliverable design, then we have pro procurement, then we have construction. The construction we have, if we have different buildings in the project, so this will be the, our mega deliverable will be a construction. And under construction we have different buildings or if you have only one building then it is a different component of the building of particular building the another way to document the uh, WBS is that is the uh, tree diagram. In the tree diagram is a very common and hierarchical diagram. In this way, we have the number one level is a level zero, or which is the project name. Under this, we have mega deliverables like uh, procurement, design, construction. Then we have sub deliverable, and then sub deliverables up to the level we can define the any work package. In uh, define if we can define. Uh, any uh, package to uh, that it is to a level that it become very unique and it is full const uh, fully constrained and fully constrained thing in itself it can be defined itself fully and we cannot go further for this one the WS can be decomposed to a such a level that we can estimate its duration uh, uh, easily we can compo uh, co compute its uh, cost we can compute the resource required uh, so uh, the uh, deliverable can be decomposed in three in 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 such a levels that we can know how, how, how what is the duration required what is the cost uh, will be involved and what are the resources required for this one so this will be depend from project to project and our scope and uh, detail required for for that particular project the third item we are using to document our work based on structure is the WBS dictionary. WBS dictionary is like other dictionary for resource or activity IDs is that we have a WBS item, WBS label, WBS code, WBS description and name, it start, finish and if there are any remarks. Like for example, the level 1 is the construction of the building, level 2 is a project design, and then you put or you put all the level two items here. Then level three is the uh, decompose. Like for example, uh, two point one point one master planning. And similarly, you can make all the hierarchical lists here for the and then we share this list with our all the stakeholder and expertise for the for the project so that we can their feedback and we can disc and we can refine it fully before implementing the project. This is on the screen now you can see the typical work based on structure for a building project. This you can, you, here you can see that level 0 is a project, then level 2 design, procurement, authority and construction, then level 3 we decompose the design into a concept, schematic, detail and IFC drawing etc. Then procurement you can decompose it into procurement of the different, different major elements like uh, procurement of the design engineers, procurement of the supervision engineers, procurement of different subcontractors or con and, and contractors, then authority approvals for example, uh, authority uh, municipality approval, approval from our NOCs from the utility providers. Then construction. Construction will depends if it is a different buildings. You have uh, building name, and then under building can be further divided into civil and MEP. Then civil can be divided into structure and finishing work, and MEP can be divided into electrical, HVAC, plumbing, and drainage. Then there is this structure finishing and MEP trade can be further divided. In and uh, decompose into flow numbers and this flow numbers can be further divided into activity types for example structural work can be divided column and wall slab uh, as, as concrete work and finishing can be defined as the uh, wet trades uh, painting works wall finishing floor finishing ceiling finishing external finishing etc as well as the MEP work can be further divided into first phase second phase third and final phase. So this WBS can be uh, discussed with all the stakeholders uh, in the project and then it will be refined before implementing the WBS to our projects. Now we will see how we can add WBS in Primera P6. So when we want to add the WBS in Primera P6, either we can open our old project or create a new project, and then we the project selected, we choose the WBS icon in the project tool group. So WBS can be in when we have W uh, Primera, in the Primera they offer four or five types of the windows. One of them is the activity window, one is the project window. One is the WBS window. I already make a se uh, separate video for la different layouts in the Primera. Kindly visit my uh, channel and find that this video.
Uh, it will be very helpful for you to know how many uh, windows are in the uh, in the framework of P6. So once we have uh, opened the project, we insert the first WBS by going into Edit and add the Plus button. This will create a child WBS. Child WBS is mean, means that our WBS beneath a select. If you select, for example, Design, when we click Plus button, it will add uh, something in the design. So we can add it like uh, Concept Design. Then we go again into Design and click it. It will create one more sibling uh, uh, WBS for the design, which may be a concept uh, schematic design and so on. Similarly, if you, if you click or any WBS and click the Plus button, it will create the uh, child WBS. But if you want to make sibling, or you mean sibling means the different WBS at the same level, then you have to go on the parent uh, uh, WBS and then can you click the plus button. We'll see this while in the uh, P6 cell. In this video, we'll learn how to how we will create WBS in Primera P6. So let's start in Primera P6 itself. I opened up Primera and we are going to add new project. So we we'll just go file and open new. It will add the new project. Select EPS. We just going to select EPS. Uh, we have that uh, PMC by Asif. You just click this one. This is PMC. Then we go to next and the project ID and we keep the same and the project name we say uh, create new WBS MP6. Okay, and we are not going to next. Uh, you can visit the channel and you can find and uh, Primera for beginners. Uh, there I explain how we can create new projects uh, in Primera P6. So for time, for this time, we just ignore all these steps and just create finish button from here. It will add the new project. And once the project is clear, uh, created, you can go in the activity window in from the main menu. And you can see that there's no min, uh, activities here. So you can see here that we are in the activity window. This is our project window. If you want to go to a WBS window, you just uh, go to enterprise. And from here, you can select WBS. Sorry, and sorry, go into project and select that WBS. So now we are in the WBS window. So you can see here we have project windows, activity windows, WBS windows. Then we can have resource window, resource assignment. Here. So now you can see our new project J and the uh, WBS name is uh, create new WBS in P P6. This is our project name. So if you want to add the new WBS, you can just go add it and click plus add button from here. You can add, uh, you can click this plus button also. Alternatively, just right click and add plus button from here. So it will add new project one and here, here you can put design. You want to of the design then go to create WBS and plus button here it will come one more WBS and here you can select procurement the design is a uh, over the procurement so you can go here and from this down here you can see that we have move icon you can see this move icon so you can uh, move or uh, navigate the WBS using this the tool so i put it back and here and if you want to uh, bring the uh, design up just go and click a button it will take the procurement up similarly you can go here and and click the plus button again here and it will show you uh, new uh, you can see this authority approval okay and then we add one more go to create new project it will create one more sibling this and make it construction. Now you want to add child uh, WBS under WB uh, design. So just click on the design and click plus button. Here it will come out the uh, uh, child under the design. So you can say here we have this concept design. You can notice that this 1.1. If you want to make uh, sibling of the concept design, just go to design again and add, add plus button. And here you can write schematic design. Then using the move buttons, and then go again. If you, for example, if you click uh, click add plus button here, it will make the child WBS for the schematic design. You just create like this, and we just change the name of this uh, WBS, and then move to the left. 
the siblings. So you can see that now we have concept, schematic, detailed design. Then we have uh, tender drawings also. You can add one more here and take it back and make tender, tender documents. Requirements similarly requirement from here. Uh, you can just click plus button here and it will show you the uh, child of procurement. You can see here procurement for the, the master plan consultant. Go procurement and plus button again. Here you can see a design consultant. Down. Then go procurement again and select. Click plus button and make a supervision consultant. Click it down. Click plus here. It will make the child of supervision consultant. We just make it uh, change. We just uh, navigate this uh, WBS. Take it to the left. So now we have like contractors. We have thirty approval. We have construction. In the construction, you can add it. For example, uh, civil works. Civil uh, under civil. Then you add one more, and you can see MEP works. You can uh, make the MEP outside because civil works MEP are siblings. Then under civil, you can add structural works. Under structure, more child, and you can make its finishing work, finishing or architecture work. Okay, uh, to the similarly in the MEP, we can add electrical installations, for MEP more for the HVAC. Move it down, then again MP works and add one more for the plumbing and drainage. Similarly, you can add all the floors and uh, floors, then you can add here for the finishing. You can uh, add for the different trade, like for the uh, wet trades, uh, uh, fall finishing, floor finishing, ceiling finishing, external finishing. And similarly, in the electrical, you can add the floors and then the um, electrical first fix, second fix, third and final fix. So if you go in the activity, uh, activity you can see that our WBS is shown here. And you just I go in the view and show bottom, uh, no bottom layout, you can see here. And then, if you op uh, if you want to uh, summarize this one, just press Control minus button. It will uh, compress all the WBS. And if you want to open, just press Control plus button. It will open all the WBS. So you can see here that we have uh, create new WBS in P6. We have construction and civil works uh, procurement. It is not in the way we want. So we just go WBS. Okay, and then we have this design consultant. And we just go to WBS into activities. Just go to WBS level one. Try refresh. So it's, uh, we organize it. Just we uh, just we uh, update our layout. So now we can see that create new WBS in P6. This is our project name. Under the project, we have design, procurement, and construction. Under the design, we have uh, different level of design. Under the procurement, we have different procurement. Authorities approval, we can add uh, like uh, municipality approval, utility suppliers, NOCs, and uh, approvals. And then in the construction, we have civil and MEP. Under civil, we have uh, structure and finishing work. And uh, under MEP, we have all this major three, electrical, FVC, and plumbing. So I hope uh, this video uh, give you some uh, new and good idea, and I hope you learn something new from this video. If you uh, if you if you uh, like it, please consider subscription and share this video with your other fellow planning engineers. And I will try to make a, a helpful video for our fellow planning engineer or coming uh, junior planning engineers to get uh, uh, get from a good idea for to start their career.
uh, if you like, uh, please can, uh, consider uh, subscription and share the video. I'll see you soon in another useful video for our engineers. Till that time, thank you very much for your time. See you again. Take care and bye bye.